Fabricio Verdun is 28, 6'4", 235 pounds, 1 and 0 in pride. Akakuna, 193.8 Roman the Russian Hammer Zentsov is 31, 6'1", 225 pounds. He's making his debut in Pride Fighting Championships. Now, Boss Rudin, as we take a look again at this tremendous crowd on hand at the Saitama Super Arena, you're a French chef among your many talents, and I guess you can look upon this matchup as the appetizer to the main course, which will be the Pride World Heavyweight Championship between Fyodor Emelianenko, the champ, and Mirko Krokop, the challenger, because Zentsov represents the Red Devil fight team. Who, oh, look at Verdun come flying out with that knee. Of course, Emelianenko's with the Red Devil fight team, while Verdun is with Team Krokop. So, maybe a little hint of what's to come later tonight. Yep. Takedown defense displayed there by Verdun, and we saw Verdun look very impressive in his pride debut as he defeated the much bigger big cat Tom Erickson. Whoop, and he's got the takedown. And this is bad for Zentsov because Verdun is a master on the ground. He's a master Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. He took up BJJ in 98 after being triangle choked in front of his girlfriend by her ex after he challenged Verdun to a fight. Talk about embarrassing, boss. <laughs> yeah, pretty embarrassing. But he certainly turned that into his favor by winning world titles and the Pan American Championships as a blue belt, the European Cup as a brown belt and then won the World Cup and World Championship as a black belt in the super heavyweight category, all in a two-year span, 2003-2004. Now we see Verdun in the full mount, boss. Yep, and like I said, it's gonna be dangerous. Dangerous for Zetsum. Zentsov, and yes, Verdun has improved his stand-up skills immensely while working with Krokop, so it's helped both fighters. And speaking of the challenger for the World Heavyweight Championship coming up tonight, Krokop, is now a blue belt in jiu-jitsu according to Verdun while Zentsov took up the sport of MMA in 1999 started wrestling at the age of 10 until 15 is also trained in karate boxing and kickboxing Zentsov's last victory was over Pride veteran Dirty Bob Schreiber in Russia a couple of years ago. He's looking for a triangle here. He's grabbing the left arm of Roman Zentsov, pushes it against his um, jaw, and then he tries to pass that arm and go for a triangle job. Well, that's him. Verdun doing a good job of neutralizing his wrist, but now looking at Zentsov, passing there and going into north-south position, trying to deliver some knees, going for the heel trip is Verdun and making it look smooth. Very is he nice in danger though with that? No, well, not at all. There, I answered the question there as Verdun pops his head out and now looking for the possible Kimura, maybe even swiveling and turning it into an arm bar, but it looks like Boss is going to try to pop that arm out and go for the Kimura. Yep, looks to me the same thing here. He has to explode it in, though. Oh, he's going to go for straight arm, it looks like. If he's going to step over Roman Zentsov's head, he's going to go for straight arm, ar arm bar, and otherwise he goes for a reversed figure four. Zentsov was defeated via key lock submission in your native Holland, Boss, in 2002 by Alistair Obering, who we saw eliminated from the tournament by Mauricio Shogun. And now it is full mount by Verdun. And now he has his back, and this is going to be very dangerous for Zentsov against the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu wizard, Verdun. Beautiful. And a nice reversal by Zentsov. Turns right into the guard. Yeah, both are very skilled on the ground, that's for sure. Yeah. A little bit more than this. The referee's calling for action. 
and otherwise they will restart this fight on the feet. Oh, triangle. Look at this. Is it on? Yes, he's got it. Beautiful armbar. He went for a triangle and he made it into a straight armbar. Whoa, what a finish out of the blue. Slick submission there by Fabrizio Verdun, who improves to 2-0 and in Pride Fighting Championships as he submits Roman Zetsov at four minutes and one second of the opening round. This was very weird. I, this feeling was just very weird. It went very slow, and suddenly there was the submission. Pulls the rabbit out of his hat, Mr. Ruta. Yep, there you see one little mistake. You know, at least he learned from the triangle choke that he received from uh, the boyfriend from his ex-girlfriend, yeah. and he put it on him right now and turned it into a straight armor. Beautiful, wizard on a mat.